gigs, fragrances and espresso martini. That's the program. Let's go. So today we are going to the O2 in Greenwich and I'm going to uh, see the little mix in um, a gig. And you might be like, oh my God, Clement, I didn't know it was your style of music. Indeed, I didn't know either, but I'm, uh, my friend is going and she loves it. Look at that shirt, beautiful. She's taking pictures of the crowd while I'm admiring the collection of Budweiser. <laughs> and you'll excuse me, I won't put the music because otherwise I'm going to get demonetized. So I had no clue what I was doing here, but Florin, she knew what she was doing. She brought a flag of France. Oh my God. <laughs> This is not really my type of music, but I was really appreciating the looks. <laughs> That's very fluffy. I would actually casually dress like that at home. <laughs> That was my favorite moment. <laughs> and then for the rest of the days, I've been the travel guide basically for Florine, and we've been visited iconic places in Cove Garden and smell some fragrance, of course. And she's going to look at <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Like in Brittany. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> We are in Liberty. I love this department store. Like this vintage vibe is really, really my vibe. It's cute. Few weeks later, yes, few weeks, we've been invited to an event by Fiol. They're going to explain much more, much better than me. There were amazing people, especially the lovely Abby. Please follow her on her YouTube channel and Instagram. She's an amazing fragrance reviewer. Me casually showing you my outfit. <laughs> and the main reason of the event was also for the launch in the UK of one of my favorite brands, Le Jardin Retrouvé. I'm under supervision from the bus. <laughs> Sorry, Josh, interrupting here, but I didn't show you the breakfast. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> you exactly know how to bribe me now. <laughs> Christmas in July, really. <laughs> yeah, uh, Happy New Year and all that. So, 
Um, <laughs> I think a lot of you probably already know that uh, running your own business means you're probably a bit mad um, and that it can be incredibly stressful at times, but there are certain aspects of it that remind you of how exciting it can be and certain aspects of it that fill you with passion. And for us, often, uh, that is about the brands and the people that we work with. So we have a few launches uh, to discuss with you today. Uh, there are three key launches we want to discuss. The first launch that we're going to have in time for Christmas are curated, giftable sets of independent fragrance houses. The second thing we're launching is our online gift finders. Just like the fragrance finder, it's going to ask you a series of questions that will lead you in the right direction to find the perfect gift for a loved one. And finally, the bit that is filling us with the most passion is to launch Le Jardin Retrovic. To find something that stands out so much and it's so special and so industry leading in their attention to sustainability, to being vegan, to using natural ingredients where possible, all whilst being so beautiful. I mean, you can hear the birds tweeting. I mean, we're in Soho. It's just extraordinary. So it's a real pleasure to introduce them. When you said, let's launch the Jardin Retrovic in London on July the 6th, today's the birth anniversary of my father. He would have been 108, but if we made it, why not? Le <laughs> Jardin is the first ever niche perfume brand in the world uh, created by a perfumer. He wanted to bring to the world excellent quality perfumes, uh, creative perfumes uh, at affordable prices. And we found uh, in our archive something like 2,000 fragrances he left us, which we've been exploiting. <laughs> more, to come, more to come. And we decided with Clara uh, five years ago uh, to relaunch the brand. So it's going to tell you about this in a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's her job. <laughs> <laughs> when you inherit something so strong as Le Jardin Retrouvé, which means the rediscovered garden, how are you going to focus? We, we feel that now we are focused. It's the garden. The garden. First of all, what we have within ourselves, our inner garden, where we feel good, where we feel resolved, recharged, where we feel centered. The second garden is the garden that we love to be in, where you have the flowers, where you have the sky. And the birds what, chirping. The birds <laughs> chirping. <laughs> and this is what our perfumes are about. All the perfumes are a garden from the world. Um, let's say Musarashi Amai, One we must protect. We cleaned the formulas of our urine, keeping the olfactory, putting away everything that was harmful for the planet, harmful for the human beings. We went beyond Ypres uh, with all the formulas. Every bottle uh, is not crimped, so you can refill it. Everything is recyclable, recycled, etc., or durable. Stand, stand with it forever if you don't get crimped. <laughs> this is um, Gdansk by Galavan, which is their brand new fragrance. Gdansk is on the Baltic coast of Poland, and the uh, Baltic coast of Poland is very famous for amber, crossbow resin. So I wanted to play with this idea that what is amber? Because people still say to me, ah, oh, it's the resin, isn't it? So this is an exploration from that and what it means. As you know, we normally have the amber filled with the vanilla, the benzoin, the lavender. I've taken off the vanilla and I've put on a whole load of tobacco absorbent. So it's very smoky. Uh, it's a little bit fruity, you know, big of Poland, Central Europe, you know, we love these fruit compots so cherries, plum. So some of that at the top. But really it's an amber. I can smell some yeah. animalic background, it's yeah. beautiful. And it's um, amber green. It's made in Kent. Oh. It's all about choices in life, isn't it? And for better or for worse, I choose to make everything here. So all my perfumes are inspired by travel, places I know and love. No, this is the thinking. Very good stuffing. <laughs>
what you just seen is a promise to each other to do some fragrance shopping together. <laughs> What Kate is showing us is, I would say, the more modern collection, but like I know Grossmith for the vintage collection, which is gorgeous. Not like it's vintage, vintage, but it has really that vibe. So if you love this, mm. which is a white floral, it's a cool, light, crisp white floral. Um, Amelia, which is a contemporary chic grey, it's a little bit pretty. It's, I'd say, almost kind of commercial but an accessible fragrance. Um, we have Golden Sheep, right? Oh, I love this one. Which is, yeah, it's a really beautiful, uplifting, bright citrus. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. I remember smelling this. Yes. So oh. I love this. This one, I'd say, when we were creating, this one was my favourite one. Mm. Yeah, while well, it was in process. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a bit dry now, it's unreal because I remember smelling it out. Yes, really? Yeah. Wow. And at first, I was like, oh, it's a lot. And then, oh, that lady's name. Tamara. She said she said, just walk around for a bit. And then sometimes I'll just back at me. And I was just like, what is that? And I was like, oh, yeah. And it's quite nice. I'd say it's quite nice here just having the Black Label collection because they are. Followed by a masterclass by Clara, and we are exploring all the fragrances. So the candle worked, it had a lot of success. So we decided to make uh, a perfume uh, out of it. Maxence got really, really uh, crazy about our old rose in the lab and wanted to do something around the old rose that was like a forest bathing more or less. And who's Abashiyama? It's from the Abashiyama Gardens in Japan. What are you doing? And after that, we went to visit in our roads. I wanted to show Edwin all of the gorgeous perfume in Salon de Parfum. This, I've talked a lot about it. It's a real gourmand. It smells like a blueberry muffin with a tea note. It's extraordinary, beautiful. And finishing the day with some espresso martini that are absolutely delicious in Buns and Buns Covent Garden. You'll have a good time with that team, for sure. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, the live, I was going to say, no, the vlog. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a little like, and I'll see you soon. Leaving you with some footage of me and Merlin enjoying the garden um, and me trying to bring him back. <laughs>